Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft, who was running for governor, took to X, formerly known as Twitter, calling the shootings tragic and unnecessary and declaring it's past time for the state to take control of the SLMPD. Look, when St. Louis does badly, it hurts the rest of the state. When St. Louis does well, it elevates the rest of the state. Those words from Missouri Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft underscore his call for state intervention in St. Louis's crime problem. Ashcroft, a Republican gubernatorial candidate, wants the state to once again take control of the St. Louis Police Department, and his plan includes hiring a thousand new police officers across Missouri in his first year as governor. It's not enough, but I don't want to say 2,000 because I don't know that I can do that for sure. We've got to have truth in sentencing. When people do the crime, they do the time. Now, you say you'd hire a thousand more officers, but you've also said you're going to. Uh... Uh, slash state income tax. How can you do both? We don't have a resource problem. We have a resource allocation problem. Ashcroft's proposal would reverse a 2013 decision by Missouri voters to return control of the St. Louis Police Department to local officials after more than 150 years of state oversight. He argues that local control has failed. They are taking resources away. Officers show up to work. They don't even know if there's a car they can use as they're driving the district. Despite raises and bonuses, the city has had trouble recruiting new officers with more than 300 openings. But Ashcroft thinks part of the problem is not enough support for law enforcement. They need to know they'll be supported. They need to know that the law will be on their side, that if they do their job, if they follow their law, they won't be uh, criminally or civilly prosecuted. In response to Ashcroft's claims, Mike Keough, his gubernatorial campaign, says, quote, Secretary Ashcroft is campaigning on issues that Mike Keough has been working on with men and women in law enforcement for years. That's why every major law enforcement and public safety organization has endorsed Mike Keough for governor. We are still waiting to hear back from Bill Igel's campaign.